Huntsville Comic Con is back for the seventh year at Low Mill Arts and Entertainment. Our Sedona Meadows went out there today after the storm to check out all that comic fans can enjoy. Sedona, it sounds like it's so much fun. It's so much fun, Kanisha. Yeah, this storm did not stop attendees from having fun. There's so much to see and do at Comic Con this weekend. Let's take a look. There is comic books, toys, uh, records, uh, jewelry. We have Tyler Main from the X-Men and uh, Michael Myers, and we have uh, Sherilyn Kenyon. They're both here signing at the show. Low Mill itself is a great place to come. Huntsville Comic Con is back at Low Mill for the seventh year in a row, bringing together all those with a passion for both old and new comics. And for some artists, it's a way to share their craft from all year round. I have a focus on props and costuming. I am a cosplayer by trade, and I've been doing that for almost 15 years now. So tomorrow, we are actually hosting a cosplay showcase and competition in the Huntsville Theater, where we will be giving people a little bit of the experience of either showing off their character presentations or their costumes. Emmy Main has set up shop at Low Mill for over six years with her business Lightning and Lace and loves encouraging others interested in the world of comics to build their own costumes through sewing, 3D printing, and laser cutting. Here at my shop, I really love to um, not only sell what I make and what I design, but also educate. And here at Comic-Con, as Huntsville continues to grow, so does the fandom. Huntsville is one of the biggest place. It is the up and coming place. I enjoy seeing the people come out here. They have a good time. They bring their families. Best thing about this show, it's $10 a car load to get in. So if one person comes in, 10 bucks. You bring 10 guys in a car, still 10 bucks. Whether you come to Low Mill tomorrow for the convention, the food, or the entertainment, they can't wait to welcome you. I am excited about this next year as far as, you know, the growth of not just the Comic-Con, but the growth of the mill in general. Sometimes we hear that first timers will come through the hall and will say, oh, welcome. And they said, we have no idea that this place even existed. Like I said, so much fun. Comic-Con will run through tomorrow from 11 a.m. to 7 p.m. where attendees just have to pay $10 for parking at Low Mill.